Designer Beginners Tutorials Lesson 7 More Text Manipulation. In this lesson, we're going to learn more about 1. The Character tab and using kerning. 2. Difference of spacing and text stretch tools. 3. Paragraph Styles Introduction. 4. Changing paragraphs with the paragraph tab. And 5. The Frame Text Tool. Hello, this is Tony Tony's Music and the Administrator of Doodly and Tony PNGs. Welcome to Affinity Designers Beginners Tutorials Lesson 7 and I'm going to start off with a new document I4 and Landscape and I'm going to create that. I'm going back over to the toolbars on the left hand side and click on the Artistic Text Tool and put that up a little bit like that and then I'm going to add some text on there. Right, so just give me a bear with me a mom while I uh, just type these in I'm just doing a little bit because it's important to have uh, a certain amount for what I'm going to do in order to show what I'm doing properly I need, need at least three lines really to it really something like that okay right now for this one what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry on with the characters tab uh, which is obviously along this line which is the line of the properties for the actual um, text tool we've got on at the moment right so uh, there's the character tab so if we click on it the character tab comes up as we've done before we've done about the underlining and everything we got to this part and I had trouble getting the kerning work working because I couldn't remember how to do it so let's show you that first um, if you got say two letters which are look a bit further away than they should do in a set of um, text that you've got like say the H and the E between the hello right you put your carrot on like that and uh, while it's still blinking you go to the kerning area you can type in an amount a percentage you want it to expand to to make the space wider if you want like 75 percent and as you can see it's moved 75 percent if you didn't want to do that or you want to take it the opposite way you go minus 50 you can you can use these um default um sizes that they've put on for you and that'll go take you to f minus 50 percent um you can also use the upper area to take it out to wherever much you want it to go and it will go keep going for ages really seems to be it's going quite quite a long way and then you all you can do the down arrow to take it in and get it close to each other as the as you want to get them right so that's what you can do with that or you can just click zero and get it to whatever the font originally put it at right secondly um the next one down is the spaces between the letters in whatever you've got selected if it's if you've got the carrot on it works differently to if you've got a selection selected so you've got a selection selected there right now if I do up arrow on this one all that selection are going out um, the spaces are widening not the actual letters the letters are staying the same size it's the spaces that are widening right if you take them the other way they'll reduce but it's only what you selected right if you select all of it now say and then try to do it again you'll see what happens as soon as you do that it automatically went to the same as the one at the top um, if however you used a car the carrot on its own on one particular area like say there for example and then tried using that 
you'll find that the right hand side will move much faster than the left as you can see look say the left's barely moving and the right's moving much faster so you'll get a, a difference between what's happening on the right and what's happening on the left and the space between them will be different or the space different there right so be aware of that right because of the carrot that is right now if you want to put it back to where it was I don't know what it was now I forgot so let's just do that and it'll go down and take it down where it was that looks about right um, this one is baseline so whatever the baseline is for the bit you selected whether it's that, that sentence for example you can move it up or move it down as far as you want to go on the document that is right if you only select a word it'll do the word so you can do that just move the one word if you need to I'll, I'm pressing the wrong one now sorry about that my fault okay uh, that that was uh, doing that and you go down as far as you want it to on the document as well um, if you use the carrot uh, on a particular piece and do that it'll just move that one word as well so the carrot does that same thing and with this if I just take that off there like that so that it's just the text box is being selected at the moment this one is the actual space in between lines so it'll stretch, the, stretch them out evenly and put them back evenly right however you can select a particular area and just do that and it'll do the one bit above it and that right and you can just use the carrot on a particular area and see what happens nothing happened on the top one right but wait until we get to one of the others so we go to the bottom one and try that it's just doing the bottom one if we do the middle one and put the carrot on there try that see what happens so it's the one and the one above will have a gap between it and not the others right that's what happens if you use the carrot right in italics with the carrot in it just that one word will be made italics whether it's leaning to the left or the right okay and the, if you select it all all of it will be turned to italics etc you know so you have to have it selected to do it like that. right um, these ones down here these are the actual text is stretched so horizontally you stretch the text itself not the actual spicy and reducing the text size and stretching vertically with this other one and down again right so that's stretching the text itself okay so that's all them and i showed you superscript and subscript before it doesn't work on every font now because some of the fonts for superscript and subscript um you don't see a difference like this one itself Arial doesn't show uh, much of a difference with the fonts like that with the subscript and that on there unless you do something else with them with these typography pieces which i showed you last week um, we'll go on to the next piece now because i need to show you something else so we can take that off and we'll take this off as well so i need to delete that so let's delete that right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to open a recent document if i can get ah, that's it right now this is a, para, a set of paragraphs uh, to do with magnifying acid reflux right the reason I'm going on to this is because I'm going to go on to the paragraph section next and at the moment you've got no style on here but you can change it add body 
do it with heading one heading two or table body like that right or you can have the now style right so be aware of that you can make your own style as well with it because with the own with your style style you make yourself you can uh, add emphasis or whatever you can add bold uh, italics or underlining where needed and whatever right okay if you do do that though you need to update your paragraph style just the same as you'd update your character style if you made a new character right um, here is the paragraph tab button there right so you got the the paragraph tab right now you've got your align to the left at the moment you can align it centrally or align it to the right you got justify to left justify to the right and justify I mean justify to center and justify right and you got justify all which makes it look a bit weird but there you go anyway let's justify it left first and then just uh, align left the difference between aligning and justifying is aligning works on vertical axis and justifying is supposed to work on the horizontal axis but I suppose it depends on your font as well for that because you can't tell with this font that I've got on now that it's uh, working with a justification really to be honest so that's that here again you've got the now style and you've got the body and that so you can change it there if you want to for the paragraph you've also got space in here so if you want to change the spacing you can go along here so I think you've got to select it now to do that I mean, to do that and let's just select it look let's go into the come that's it look. let's select it all and try that no it ain't doing nothing right so let's try um body try it with the body and then do leading and that's it that's what happens see it changes it if you've got um a style on it it seems to work better than if you haven't so there you go right so we'll just take that back put to now style right and you can change the left indent so it'll move to the right for all the stock there that's there let's just click on the text box like that right so it goes that way let's bring it back you can deal with the top one it should do just to the top top the top sections of each part is being indented and then put it back right this one is right indent so if you want to go the other way like that so it, it comes from the right to the left and then let's go down here let's pull this down a bit you can see all the con the, we've got loads of content here it's good I've, I've added a lot of content and I haven't put it all on where I should have done and let's just uh, go that way and then click on that click that I'm just deleting some of the extra spices on there you go see because we ain't seeing everything it's my fault I should have done that before right as you can see there's quite a lot of information there I've got on but I can't seem to get that to work now. I'm going to, let's do that first. I think that's everything, isn't it? I think there ain't no more. Yeah, that's it. That's the last piece, I think. They are they are selected anyway. Right. So, um, if you go to there, they should do the bottom piece. I don't know if it's doing anything. Is it doing anything? I can't say. Maybe I have to select it. I don't know. Let's try that. I can't see any difference there. Mm, let's try that and then try it then. Yeah, that's what it is. It indents it from, from the right to the left. The bottom. Um, 
things look as you can see I'll take it back and take it forward it indents the bottom whatever the bottom um, line is of each paragraph that's what it does yeah so in indents indents that from the right to the left okay now here is supposed to give you the space before a paragraph uh -uh. now that gives you more space before a paragraph this one gives you more space after a paragraph supposed to you can't see the difference but yeah that's what it does it gives space I like that and it's space between same styles and then you can add extra space as you want to that'd be easier way to do it so you can make it right for what you want using that would be a good idea some space before and after use space before only between paragraphs only at column top always and you've got two, three different choices there only being between paragraphs I'll put there right that was the one that was on anyway then you've got your tab stops here so you can have your tab stop for I would assume that's for printing that's a prim, printing one I think 12.7 millimeters we have that for, for that usually uh, justification these gives you a choice of how you want it justified correctly to whatever you've aligned it to whether it's right or or left or what center and you've got your minimum letter spacing there your desired letter spacing and your maximum letter spacing so you could can have them sorted out absolutely there if you wanted then you've got your bulleting and number uh, and numbering so if you want to bullet anything you can change it to what you want so you can bullet everything in different ways you've got different lots of different ways there and you've got different levels there to do it with as well so you've got if you put a bullet on and you can change the level to a different level possibly down on bullet let's try that one yeah you've got different levels of doing that one right and then you've got ibc's and um, roman numerals etc so if you want to do that and you've got text there as well you can add text to it so I don't know what that is I enjoyed it so uh, so you, you should be able to put text with it and stuff like that it's, I'd, I'd, it depends on what your thing is so you've got text there you can put on right all them text different things there like that and you can add more there one minute oh dear more Right, so you can add all these different selected punctuations and fonts so if you wanted to put something else on you could and I'm sure you can add some as well and you've got different mathematical operators arrows geometric shapes etc through that so you can do that as well um, and you could start numbering at different numbers rather than one two three you could have two three four or five six seven whatever and you can restart numbering and things like that on it so that's your paragraphs basically but there's a lot of things to work through there so if you want to try that just play about with it and get used to it that's your best bet you know because that's what I'm doing really I'm playing about with it myself and learning how to use it and you got your alignments here as well so if you come out of the paragraph tableau like I just did and uh, you want to align it left center right and you got the justify left and justify that way as well if you want to right and then you got this one here top align top align and then you center vertically and then you got bottom align justify vertically right let's put it back to what it was I think <laughs> and then you've got your bulleted list here and your numbered list there if you want to do them that way so you can find them without going to the 
paragraph if you if you wanted to do it that way and then you can change the paragraph leading this way to make them different sizes that way and then you've got your typography here as well right and that's basically it for the uh, artistic text tool with regard to dealing with different paragraphs and things like that and I also think you can do um, this frame text tool in the same kind of way you can make it different shapes and that it's basically the same as using the artistic text tool except for you can't do um, text around certain circles and things like that with it you can possibly cut that off there and let's try and do that in there paste as you can see it goes that way because I only made it thin it's going down that way so we'd have to have two or three lots so you could make a newspaper with this using the frame text tool and um, cut out what you don't want and whatever you know but you'd have to obviously change the size of how much stuff you're dealing with you might have to uh, edit it a lot or make the size of the um, your text a lot smaller possibly in order to reach the page properly I'm just trying to get in a bit like that say that that bottom bit is, you couldn't barely see it so you'd have to probably cut out a few spaces here and there or something so or change it from landscape to um yeah I forgot what you call it now Landsca from landscape to um portrait and have it that way going down but you could that's what you could use for doing columns like in in a newspaper um and stuff like that so that's a similar thing to using the artistic text tool all the same kind of um um properties are in there for the frame text tool as is for the art artistic text tool the only difference is you have to watch what you how much you're putting in it obviously as you can see there i had a hell of a job, job trying to get that right after i've done it um because i don't do newspapers usually so there you go but i hope you've enjoyed what i've tried to teach you on this lesson and um hope you enjoy the future coming tutorials and please like and subscribe to Tony's Music. Thank you.